our MJ movie reviews back again with a on the fly movie review of uh, God Jack Reacher. I think the subtitle is Never Go Back. I think it's Never Go Back or Never Look Back. I don't care what it is because I'm just going to tell y'all right off rip. I'm ready to unload because, wow. Let me tell you, uh, I've been a long time fan of Tom Cruise. Tom Cruise's career has spanned as long as I've been living on this planet. The first movie I can remember seeing this man in was probably, uh, I, I think it was Legend. The movie legend that he did with Ridley Scott, you know, where Tim Curry plays the big devil guy. Basically a very, that very dark fairy tale movie, um, which digressing, I've never heard Tom Cruise ever talk about that movie, not even on the special edition DVD, but back to Jack Reacher. Um, so, you know, look, some people love Tom Cruise, some people hate him. You know, I always like Tom Cruise. Uh, some of my favorite dramatic roles that he's done, you know, obviously Rain Man, Born on the Fourth of July, um... Some of the stuff he does in a, in a few good men, uh, Magnolia. Tom Cruise is very capable of doing entertainment stuff and dramatic work. So I'm a fan of him. You know his his Oprah antics and you know whatever. As far as him being an entertainer, I like him. You know I don't care about all that other stuff. The first Jack Reacher. Um, you know I thought it was okay. I didn't see it theatrically. I rented it when it came to DVD. In Blu-ray, and I, uh, you know, I liked it. I liked it. I thought I thought it was okay. Uh, I didn't really know anything about that character. I don't know anything about the books. I'm just looking at it strictly from the movie material. And I thought the first film was okay. Uh, the final fight between him and Jack Courtney, I thought was all right. And I liked the scene where Tom Cruise was driving the the car through the city and all that. That was cool. It was an all right movie. Um, this here, uh, you know, it's been a very long time. Since, because Tom Cruise got rolling again, and uh, it's been a very, it's been a very long time since Tom Cruise had a a, a really disappointing misfire. This lands on the misfires. I mean, the last time that I can remember right offhand that Tom Cruise had a really just, just a film that was just like, what is going on here? Which was Mission Impossible Two, which digressing, talking about MI Two. Regardless of the really good motorcycle chase at the end and some of the action stuff in the beginning of the movie, it's a really piss poor movie. You know, aside from John Woo's touch, the cinematography, it's a very bad movie. Uh, and, and I really think MI2 is honestly one of Tom Cruise's worst performances that he's ever given out of his entire career. I, I think it's a horrible performance in that movie. As I think the film is terrible outside of the action and cinematography. Uh, this movie here is right alongside MI2 and definitely just, I was actually shocked at how, this, and I'm not kidding y'all, this movie's bad, it's really bad, and, and I'm telling you, this movie is actually so bad that, and now I heard some other YouTube movie reviewers saying that this was on the level of like some Jason Statham straight to DVD, uh, Steven Seagal, uh, Redbox movies. And it is. It really is. It's, it's not a joke. People are not exaggerating. This movie stinks, man. It's bad. It is so bad. I was shocked at how terrible it is. It's really, really underwhelming is not even the word for what it is. It's it's bad, man. It's real bad. The story I couldn't even follow. Oh my God! Let me. Let, I'll just start with that first. The story. The story is just. There's no reason why this character should have came back for. If they were gonna bring him back for a sequel, and if they want to start a franchise, there ain't gonna be a part three after this one. Cause the first one, I thought there was some place to go. This movie could have took it to another level. And this, unfortunately, knocks it way down. This might have killed whatever potential third movie they, had, they were going to make. Because, I mean, this is terrible. The story, I can't follow it. I just thought it was stupid. You know what I mean? You got this thing where this little blonde chick could be Jack Reacher's daughter. And 
one of his fellow comrades, this woman who was in the military, they're framing her for something. I couldn't follow it. I thought it was all stupid. The girl who, who turns out to be, who could be his potential illegitimate daughter or whatever, she's just a dick. Excuse me. She's just a dick and she's annoying and she's rolling her eyes. And I just want to text and it's just like... She's annoying as hell, and like, and then I really feel like the daughter character and the female comrade really take away from Tom Cruise. I feel Tom Cruise could carry the movie on his own. I didn't think he needed them to, but unfortunately, not that anybody's acting is bad, but just putting them to with him really, to I feel, slows the movie down. It really just made it drag worse. Uh, the villains... Um, Man, I mean, the villains, we're talking about Jason Statham um, directive DVD villains, man. Uh, Steven Seagal straight to video villains. I mean, oh, it's so bad. I was shocked. There's like in the first one, at least in the first one, where like Tom Cruise has his little fight with Jai Courtney and the part where he fights the guys outside the bar or whatever it is. You know, it, it's quick and it's simple action, not too fantastical, but it, it, it leaves some impact. There's a similar scene here that it's just horrible, and they shoot it in an old factory with smoke and stuff going around. And it's not even, and the fight is piss poor. It stinks. Oh my God. It, it, Oh man, I don't know what else to say about this movie. It, uh, the action, very underwhelming. Nothing memorable. The action in this is so standard and just nothing that stands out that I can honestly sit up here and tell y'all, as much as I hate to even say this, that I would rather watch The Expendables 3. And I think the action in Expendables 3 is like the Matrix Reloaded in comparison to how underwhelming the action is in this film. It's really that underwhelming, people. I can't even believe I just said what I just said, but that's really how underwhelming that this movie is, that I'd rather watch Expendables 3. I actually almost fell asleep, and I was bored to tears, bored to tears. I got, as a matter of fact, when the movie started out, it was okay. As it got to the middle section, into the third act, I was dying for this movie to end. I said, please, God, make it end if you can. Please do anything to make it end. Because I'm at the point now where I feel like, you know, I'm an actor and a filmmaker. So I don't, I feel I should complete. I, I stick it out and I complete the movie no matter how much pain it's putting me through. And my God, I said, you make it end. Stop, please. I want this to end. Oh my God. I hated this movie, man. I hated it. I hated it. I hated it. Ah, oh, it, it's just, this is beneath Tom Cruise, man. Tom Cruise, I mean, you know, Ghost Protocol, firing all cylinders. Um, and I can't remember what he did after Ghost, Ghost Protocol. But Tom Cruise has been on a roll, man. You know, ever since he kind of had his little couch jumping thing and MI3 kind of did mediocre, ever since he had his little dry spell, he's been firing on all cylinders. You know, Ghost Protocol was awesome. MI5 Rogue Nation, that was awesome. I mean... This is just way below Tom Cruise, man. I, I don't know what happened here. I I, I can't. And, and the guy who directed this is a, is a good director. You know, I don't know what happened here. I don't know. But this, every, for everybody involved in this movie, to, I mean, to come from Paramount, Tom Cruise's production company, Tom Cruise, the director who directed, this is beneath all these guys, man. I, I don't know how this turned out like this, but this, there will not be a three. There won't be a Jack Reacher three, unless this, it's a hundred percent funded by somebody who doesn't care about how bad this movie is. I mean, I think this killed the franchise. This movie's bad, man. It I, I really do not know what else to say. The story's terrible. The action is subpar. 
the the daughter character is excruciatingly annoying. She was annoying as all living hell. I hated this movie, man. I I I cannot express how much I hated it. And oh man, and Tom Cruise here looks bored. He looks very bored. You know, there's a couple parts where he gets to be that fiery few good men Cruise. A little bit of life in there, but. You know, and even Tom doesn't look like he's even trying that much with the action. You know, he gives it his all, even at his age. And there's a lot of shots here where you can see the stuntman. I mean, like Lethal Weapon 4 style. Like, you can see the stuntman that bad. This is terrible, man. It, it's so avoid at all costs, people. I wouldn't even recommend The Dollar Show for this movie, if The Dollar Show even exists anymore. This is terrible, man. I don't have nothing else to say. RMJ Movie Reviews, thumbs up the video, subscribe to the channel, share the video, and leave comments down below about this piece of garbage, Jack Reacher, never look back, never go back, whatever the hell it's called. This movie stinks. I will see y'all soon.